For 2015, Sea Rays introduced 11 new models, and though clearly focused on the future, they haven't forgotten their past, and the iconic Sundancer line is included in these new models. So we're going to show you the brand new 2015 Sea Ray 470 Sundancer. It can be a tricky balance when you're trying to freshen up a classic. Go too far, people may say you've ruined the heritage. Don't go far enough, and people say you're just lazy and banking on your history. But even at first glance, it's clear Sea Ray has struck the right balance. Sleek and modern, it looks like a Sea Ray with its classic overall shape, but the lines are flowing and the windows massive. This is a beautiful boat from the outside. When you get on board, that raised bar of style is upheld nicely. The exterior cockpit is smaller than you'd expect on older models, but don't worry, this is simply a sign of a new multi-use, multi-space approach. The glass doors slide out of the way, opening up the main deck's entertaining area and flowing seamlessly from helm to transom. The massive sunroof retracts to let the outside in, or keep it closed and enjoy natural lighting while being protected. For the outdoor cooking experience, the cockpit has a full grill and wet bar set up along with an L-shaped bench seating. Sea Ray's sky flow design is evident in the interior of the 470 Sundancer. It's a design concept to make the space open, airy, and roomy, making an already spacious boat feel palatial. There's a lot more open space and open areas than you'd historically expect on an express coupe style sport yacht, even one that's 47 feet long. There's lots of plush seating, including a raised couch opposite the helm, complete with stainless steel grab rails. There's roomy storage drawers designed to match the rest of the interior, a stainless steel drawer style refrigerator, and a hideaway flat screen TV. With walls that are almost entirely windows and that massive sunroof, this area is aptly referred to by Sea Ray as the sunroom. The helm fits nicely here without being an intrusion to the social zone, but still offering everything to keep the captain happy. From dual touchscreen Raymarine displays and smart craft vessel view, to well laid out rocker switches and analog controls, to the joystick, which on a boat this big is a very popular feature. Luxury should extend to docking after all. Just ahead of the helm, you'll notice the windshield is pushed forward, opening up the lower salon to what feels like cathedral ceilings for a 47 foot boat. Down here, you have more comfortable seating with a TV and spacious and well stocked galley, including ample counter space. Looking towards the bow, you'll see two doors flanking the entrance to the forward stateroom. Port side is the head, starboard is the shower. In the stateroom itself, a full-sized island bed above drawer storage. There are dual hanging lockers and gunnel cabinets, as well as in-floor storage, and of course, another TV. The head featuring solid surface countertop with stainless sink, large window with porthole, and more wood cabinetry. Across the hall, the separate shower means twice the functionality, but also a good size. Here too, with a window for more natural lighting. Not bad for company. Moving back to the lower salon, you'll find another door that leads to the midship master stateroom. It's a full beam beauty with queen size bed and walk around access and another TV. There's a solid surface vanity featuring a large sink and storage, and always handy, there's a full length mirror on the solid door to the private master head and shower. The shower, complete with teak floor, seals off with an acrylic door to keep the VacuFlush head dry. Sliding out of the marina and into the intracoastal off Captiva, Florida, the look and lines of the 470 Sundancer really jump out. It looks like it's going faster than it is. Standard power comes in the form of twin Cummins QSC 550HO diesel V-drives, but you have the option of upgrading to twin Zeus CMD QSB 480 diesels. Either way, you'll be impressed. The sleek lines are matched with a sleek hull design, and this Sea Ray cuts through the water like a sport boat, not a big luxurious 47-foot floating condo, which it is. The well-proven Sea Ray hull slices through the water and bites into corners, banking sharply but comfortably. Top speed is 32 knots, just under 37 miles per hour. The best cruise speed is around 27 knots, or 31 miles per hour. The Sea Ray team have pulled off an impressive trifecta. A big roomy interior that feels bright and airy with plenty of space for entertaining or living. A sleek designed exterior that looks as good at the dock or on the hook as it does underway and brilliant performance and handling. 
All of this in their newest addition to the legendary Sundancer line, the 2015 Sea Ray 470 Sundancer.